Welcome back to the Real Estate News. With me now is Sherry Nixon from Keller Williams Realty. Welcome, Sherry. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh, we're ha so happy to see you again. So we talk a lot about lifestyle when you're here. And I think one of the things when people come in vacation here, um, you know, they eventually want to live here. So I'm sure as being one of the top realtors in this area for so long, you've helped lots of clients kind of make that decision between whether to continue to vacation or to move down here. You know, what kind of advice do you give them? Well, you know, I guess if they were going to decide if they're going to move here or become a second homeowner, I would say if you become a primary resident, you will have very low taxes. You'll be happy about that. Well, and in addition to the low taxes, you know, what are some other decisions that, you know, they're going to benefit from having lower taxes, but they also have to decide other things to change their lives and move down here. So what, do you, what advice do you give them about that? Well, you know, I guess if I think personally, some of the things that I struggled with, you know, 17 years ago when I decided to move here and making the decision if I was going to, I put my house in Denver on uh, the rental market, fully furnished, trying to decide if I was going to move here or not. I guess one of the big decisions that I had to make were, was about my extended family and leaving them. That was just a hard thing and I find my clients really struggle with that. They may have their family up north and they think, oh, I can't leave them. And the funny thing is, I think they discover my advice is that that family, it's such a great place to be, they're going to come and visit. In fact, I've got my, my parents here right now, so they come and visit all the time. My sisters, you know, you will find that you think you're going to leave your family, but the family's going to come here and you may never get them to leave your house. <laughs> so it's kind of different. That's one of the things they struggle with, I find that I can give them advice that that's really not a worry in the long run. Now, you know, once they do move here, let's say someone does decide to make this their home, what do you think is the biggest surprise for people once they actually do move down here? You know, it's funny because Hilton Head Island is known as the world-class vacation destination that it is. We have these amazing golf courses and tennis courts with our beautiful landscaping. We have such a lush, natural setting. I think people don't realize that behind that there is this community of caring, thoughtful people that really spend every day making this community an amazing place to live. So I think the surprise is that it's not just a vacation destination, it's a place that people want to live and people do live here and there's an amazing community here. So that I guess is the biggest surprise. Now, as their realtor, you know, how do you assist them with the decision making and also the, the transition for moving here? Well, I find that I'm really blessed with that because it's really, with, as a realtor, you want a realtor who knows the market, and I do study the market every day. So you want someone who knows the market, but it is not just about the market in real estate. It is about the relationship. And as a realtor, you need someone that you can develop a relationship with that can really help you disseminate, uh, disseminate into the community. And um, so that's really important, to find someone who knows the community. I have children that have grown up here. They've been in the plays. In fact, my uh, youngest daughter is in the Main Street play right now. They've been in the Island Rec Center. They have done all those things, so I know the community. And what's interesting and great about this community is it's not just the activities you might have in a town up north. You find that there are ways that people can really connect. For example, I love to introduce people by having them all meet at the beach at sunset. Something like that. That's the thing that as a realtor I can do. Introduce one couple to the other couple. Someone from Pittsburgh might know another person from there. And just getting them to know each other is something that I feel blessed and I love to do that every day. So that's a great thing. Well, and also, I mean, you know, there's so much to moving to a new place. And for a lot of people, especially people that move, you know, maybe from a very urban area, you know, it, it's, quite a, it's quite a change. So, you know, I'm sure they can, can they rely on you for other tips as far as, you know, what schools you recommend or, you know, where to get a good haircut or a great cup of coffee or? Absolutely. I do that all the time. I am constantly introducing my clients to the vendors that I use and that is an important thing to find someone who like I say knows the people that knows other people so that's an important part of being a realtor you've got to know the market and you have to know the community well, so I find my clients uh, do that 
And I think, too, it helps with the transition, you know, for them being happy here to have connections and making friends and kind of finding their way, too. So it sounds like your clients are in excellent hands. And so for all of our, our viewers watching at home, when they want to contact you to, to go see some of your fabulous listings, how can they reach you? They can call me. I've got the numbers listed here, 843-301-2688. Or you can email me or send me a message on my website. Well, we listen, we really appreciate your time, Sherry. As always, you have so much great information, and it was a treat to get to meet your parents today as well. So Thank you. Yes, thanks so much. And thanks so much. We'll be back just after the break.